We're from West of Here, and we're ready for the top five plays. Oh, and so are we here with Jude Wilvers. Are you able to, to warm up a little? Yeah, actually, a dad at Freedom bought me a hot chocolate, so thanks very much. <laughs> Help keep us warm. Uh, the the West of here, uh, uh, a staff member who we always see on the sidelines gave me some hand warmers. So nice. See, the, hooking us up. The kindness of friends. We always appreciate that. And you know what? How we're going to reward everybody? Great top five plays tonight. Let's get to it. They're going to be good ones. We'll start, as we like to do, with play number five from Bondwell. This is Hunter Berry. Going to be on the receiving end of this pick right near the end zone. Whoa. Comes out of nowhere, Jude. Just cut, like you said, comes out of nowhere. Nice play there at number five. On to play number four we go. This time it's Elliot Procash of Algoma. Now that's a heads up play for Elliot. Tip drill, and I mean Algoma, they get shut out in this one. They lose big to a real good Springs team, but Elliot Procash, the guy who's been making plays all season long for Algoma, offense, defense, special teams, and that's what these guys have to do on the smaller school team. Got to play both ways. Got to do it. And Hats off to Algoma on a solid season. All right, on to play number three. Speaking of smaller schools, Garrett Gunderson, the stiff arm against Ozaki on his way into the end zone. Shocked and put up a ton of points, Jude. This is going to be a great game with Springs next week. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Maybe a possible, not saying it will be, game of the week. We, we have possibility. A, have a lot to of choose choices. from. But on to play number two. This one's a two-parter from Fond du Lac. Number 82, Marcus Ruck. Great one-handed oh. grab, but wait, wait, not a replay. Ryan Luden comes away with it. This is what happens when you have two six-five receivers. Are you kidding me with those? I hope we get to see a little bit of a, a replay on these again. I mean, we got the, the rushing touchdown here from Justin Maritek. Fond du Lac, a great night on the road. They beat Middleton. That's play number two. And play number one from a game I was at, too. This is Connor Konchak running. He's not the play of the week. Loses the ball. Look at Dom Conway. Never quits on the play. He's following his receiver, and you know what? Right place, right time. He is. And rewarded. you're not catching Dom Conway. Once no, he gets the ball no. Advanced. But this is a, a guy who's got tons of yards, touchdowns, and what's he doing on a big play? He's sprinting down the field. He's Coaches following love the play. That. Coaches Jack Batten loves this guy, and you can see why. That is our number one play. All right. Time now for helmet stickers to the top performers in our area from level two of the playoffs. I'm going with Appleton North, Jude. Doug mentioned it. They go on the road. They pick up a playoff win, and Appleton North snaps Hudson's 20-game home win streak tonight. Pretty impressive. I'm going to one of my games. Freedom's Colin Hofacker, two interceptions, three receiving touchdowns in the game tonight. On behalf of Doug Ritchie, he's live out at Wrightstown, and that's who gets his helmet sticker? Maybe somebody gave him some hot chocolate tonight. Yeah, but he's saying that offense, that defense, they were just so good tonight, came right down to the end in their win over Denmark. That's it for high school game time. Level two of the playoffs. We'll be back here next Friday night for a lot of good games. Hopefully oh, yeah. they keep up.